Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and I'm a Catholic revert. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about why it is that my Catholic faith helps me with my anxiety. And I decided to make this video in response to a question I got from someone on my previous video where I was talking about devotions, Catholic devotions that help me with my anxiety. And someone asked me the question, but why is it that these practices help you? And I realized that was such a great question and one that probably a lot of people have. And so I decided that in today's video, I'd do my best to address it and to share my insights on why these practices are helping me. So to begin, I would just say a little bit about, I have been through therapy and have gone to three different therapists and all of the therapists used a type of therapy called cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT and this therapy is really the gold standard for people who experience anxiety and anxiety disorders. It's the one that it has a long history. It's been validated by a lot of studies. And so this is the therapy that they used with me. And the first time in the first session that I had with the therapy, they would give me a little bit of education about into anxiety and how it works. And one of the things that they all made very clear was that your body cannot maintain a state of anxiety, that it absolutely has to go back to a calmer state. It's just the way our biology works that has to happen. But we can get there faster. We can get to the calmer state faster if we don't resist the feelings of panic and the feelings of anxiety. But if we just like accept them and we kind of let them just wash over us and tell ourselves it's just anxiety, it'll be okay. And then we'll return to that calmer state. Well, let me tell you, practicing acceptance is far easier said than done. It was something that I was unable to do for years, actually, whenever I felt panicky I would be so terrified of those feelings, I would resist them. I would want to do everything I possibly could to avoid them. And so I was in a place where I was really mentally stuck. I just was incapable of practicing that acceptance. And I knew that if I could get there, that that would make such a difference for me, but I just could not get there, could not accept those feelings. And I only was able to practice acceptance after the experience I had before the divine mercy image of Jesus, where I had a sense of his love, his infinite love and mercy just washing over me and healing me. And so not long after I had that experience, I had another incident of panic where I was at home by myself and I was just uh, sitting there and the panic came over me. And this time, instead of calling my mom like in distress or popping a Xanax, instead what I did was I just sat there and I just remembered that amazing experience I had before the Divine Mercy image. And I just sat there and, and I tried to remember the feeling of warmth from those healing rays of God's love. And I sat there thinking of this. And then after a few minutes, I realized that I was feeling better, that I was feeling calmer. And for the first time, I had been able to accept the feelings and not to resist them. And at that point, I learned how to practice acceptance. And so whenever, whenever I started to feel panic, I was now far better able to accept those feelings. And by drawing on surrendering to God and just relying on the strength that he gave me, 
in doing that, I was able to now practice acceptance. And getting to practice acceptance has really been a key to me beginning to truly recover from this anxiety. And just uh, that was just so amazing. And something that I thought I should also mention was that the three different therapists that I've been to, they, none of them ever mentioned anything about faith or God. They totally kept God out of it. And from what I understand, that's pretty typical for therapy. Most therapists will just try and keep faith out of it, keep religion separate from it. And yet what was really amazing was that keeping the faith out of it actually, I think, held me back. It kind of prevented me from beginning to truly recover from it. And it was only, the amazing thing was that when I reconnected with my faith and I became a person of faith and was able to bring my faith back into my life, it actually helped me to practice the therapy and ended up making the therapy more effective for me. And it was just so amazing the way that that happened. And I guess the thing is, when it comes to like a secular kind of therapy, like a cognitive therapy, you're really taught to just rely on yourself, that the healing comes from yourself. You have to draw on your inner resources to get better. But the, the shortcoming is that, well, what happens if your internal resources fail you and, you're not, and they're, you're not able to draw on them? Like, what then? And so in my case, it was by drawing on something outside of myself, resources outside of myself, the graces that God gave me, that was the thing that helped me to truly begin to recover. And so I would, so now I'm just so grateful that I have my faith and I would never leave my faith outside of therapy. I feel like together, your faith and therapy, together they can be just a really powerful, powerful combination and can really set you up for true healing. So those were just some thoughts that I had about how it is that my practices have helped me to cope with my anxiety. So I, again, I'm just really so thankful that you're here. I'm very thankful to you for listening to me. And I really hope that my insights might be helpful to you as well. So I thank you for being here. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on my next video. Have a blessed day.